Hey guys, super quick tip for you today if you use Logic Pro X. One of the best things that you can do to help your workflow is to save templates. So for example, this is a template that I have saved for when I'm creating backing tracks for my band. I did a whole video breaking this down if you wanna see more about it, but this is a template. So instead of having to load this up, put all of these tracks in here, load the piano, put all these effects on here, put all these effects on my cues, what I just have, instead of going to new, I go to new from template, these are all different templates that I've saved. And this is the template that I have. And it loads up this with all of the settings. So it saves me a ton of time. I do the same thing when I'm doing voiceovers for YouTube videos. This is for practicing with my array touch. This is so I can use my studio monitors when I'm doing live looping, all that stuff. It's really helpful and definitely worth it. And it's very simple to do. Just make your starting point like this, go to file, save as template, save it as whatever you want. I already have mine saved, so it's right here. And then next time that you wanna do it, instead of going to file, new, go to file, new from template. So like this is one that I use to pitch shift songs because I'm a very low singer so that I can practice them, but I can drop the audio in here. It already has the pitch shift down a whole step. And then here's a piano in case if I need to figure out the key or see if it's in 440 and stuff like that. But saving templates has saved me so much time in Logic Pro X. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button so more people find it in the YouTube algorithm. Check out some of my other Logic Pro X quick tip videos by clicking some of the links on your screen now. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more music tech quick tips like this in the future.